Right now, we're in Northeast Asia, and there are plenty of these North African and Northeast Asian that are invasive species in these ponds and rivers that run straight through the woods here. We've got to be very careful because there are Asian mountain gorillas that could be anywhere at the same time. Sometimes we, we hit these sticks together to scare them off, but... Oh! Oh, crikey! Crikey, it's one of the North African worms, invasive species right here. Oh, look at the beauty. Oh, it's big. It's really big. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you're a pretty little girl, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, all right. Oh, no biting me now. No, all right. Oh, almost tripped on a log there. You gotta be careful with these guys. They're very, very vicious and they could bite you at any time to carry a, a very potent venom. This venom can infect a human male in about 20 minutes and it will kill him dead. I'm going to set her down now over here so she can continue her life. I think that's a stick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'd right, stop it, my hands are Stop buddy. it. Keep moving backwards. <laughs> All right. Right now, we're still in Northeast Asia and we're getting closer to this river. Me and my partner Spencer are very, very educated in this sort of stuff. And we've got what's called North Asian wood bass that are in these, these rivers. And they're very, very rare. We have to capture them in order to repopulate the species. Now be very careful, because the North Asian bass, they are known to eat figures. <laughs> I can't do it. It's so funny zoom. All right. Come on, come on. Dude, that's why I was such a bad camera. I was laughing. Hey, come in front of us. I think I wasn't. Even... All right. I don't think I was ever recording. Anything. So right now, me and my partner Spencer and our luggage man back there, Jordan, we're in Northeast Asia and we're searching for the Northeast Asian wood bass which is in little ponds and streams and things like that but we're looking for it because it's a very very rare fish the Northeast Asian wood bass is one of the rarest fishes in the world and we need to repopulate it for that reason now we need to be very careful because the bass in Asia are known to eat fingers if you put in the water so as we try to catch the bass we will use our palms and cup our fingers Max? Cupping your fingers and using your palms is one of the best strategies you can use to catch the Northeast Asian wood bass. The fish are very, very long and snake-like. They are straight and they, when they're in fear, they hold their bodies very straight and firm. They hold them as if they're a rigid stick. That's their defense mechanism to trick predators into thinking that they are actually sticks. So most often they have hydrophallic sacs in their body that allow them to hold their rigid shape in order to trick the animals into thinking they're sticks. We're getting very close to the river now. It's very close. And we're getting ready to try to find these North Asian wood bass. Wish us good luck. Now here we are on this beautiful North Asian plain. We're coming up on the river now. And it's a fairly shallow river that these ba bass very much like to swim in. They reproduce in, in little pools, sometimes beaver dams. Beaver dams are built around these, and, and the North Asian wood bass actually use these beaver dam pools as their own spawning pools. Now we've got to be very quiet and gentle as we're coming towards these, these very, very rare fish no. because they can feel vibrations coming they, they, through the water. They respond to motion, so we must be very still. They respond to that motion, and when you step in the water trying to catch them, Sometimes they can sense the very tip of your finger entering the water and when they do that they'll hit their rigid shaped stick form and actually propel themselves forward into the mud where they will remain in a stick form until you, the, the, the predator threat is, is gone. So what we're going to have to do to catch these North Asian, Asian, North Asian wood bass is we're going to have to find where these bass are in the water before we enter the water because they can detect that and we're going to have to get a surprise attack on them. Can you hear it? Yes. Northeast Asian toad frogs. The toad frogs, can you hear them? They're beautiful. They're, the bass love to be around the frogs because the frogs create a, many amount, a great amount of food supply because they keep the bugs down and their, their eggs bring better and greater amounts of beavers to the area so they can... Oh! Oh, crikey, there's a beaver dam right there! There's a beaver dam! Oh, this is... Oh, yes, we've got to be very quiet. Here's a beaver dam in a little pond. This is exactly where oh, these Northeast Asian wood bass like to mate. 
The bats should be here. It's a perfect habitat. We've got to find them. We've got to find them, but we've got to be careful. Oh my god. Don't move it around the corner and put it behind my I'm trying to get the stream. Right, right, right there, right there. Stay, stay, stay. Alright. Oh. Right now. Right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna urinate <laughs> on these leaves in order to give a higher potent smell to these frogs. And if these frogs can smell this urine that I'm putting everywhere on these leaves, then they may attract greater amounts of wood bats in the area. So hopefully the <laughs> 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 Alright, just hold it really tight and good. <laughs> Alright, okay. right, get down close. Alright, All right. we gotta be very careful right now. Because I've spotted Dude, an old Asian wood bass. I've spotted one. You can have it a little farther away, it doesn't matter if it's You far. suck at camera. Yeah, 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 just chill, just chill, I know, just hold on to it with two hands. Do it. do it, okay, have you hold ever seen Alright, hey, stop. Hey. Alright, right now we've gotta be very careful. Because they're right under us in this small bridge. We've got to make sure that we get a jump on them and don't touch the water until we're going to catch the fish. These bass, like I said, when fear, when fear strikes them, when some predator jumps in the water with them, they become very, very rigid and stiff, like a snake or like a stick, because these hydrophilic sacs in their bodies put pressure all across their bodies and make them very stiff. They'll shoot themselves into the mud and pretend they're a stick for the predators. Ma, ma, ma. Oh, oh, we've got them right here. Be very quiet. I've got to catch this. Oh, it's in there somewhere. Oh, oh. He's on one! I'm going to stop one! I'm going to stop one! He's got 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 one! We've got to look up by we the We have leader. captured a rare We've captured Asian a very bass. Rare, very, this very is rare. Historical moment. All right. Now, when they escape our grounds, they go up upstream. Spectre! I've got a one right over here. Let's Come, go. we've got to be very quiet. Mm -hmm. The water gets deeper as you approach the bass's main mating area. My feet are very stuck in the mud. You've got to be very careful. Now I'm imagine. Now imagine mud in South Asia. South Asia. It is very rigid, and there are snakes. So you must stay very firm, very, very careful. Oh, I believe I just saw one go past me. No, one just went past me. We've got to get back over here. All right. Now, being in the water has churned up a lot of mud. And this mud is making it very difficult for us to see the possible bass in the water. Yeah. We've got to move a little farther and get a better angle to get this fish caught. Let me find, I'll find one. Go. All right, I've just caught one. I've got it pressed down in the bottom of the mud. It can't move, it's in its stick form. We've got to be very careful. We've got to get it out of here, dig it out of the mud. Oh, I've got it, I've got it. A bass, Northeast Asian wood bass. This is, this, this is, is amazing. This is amazing. Oh gosh, such a beauty! Look at it. It looks almost like a stick. It's so yeah. rigid. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! I never thought I would be here holding a bass. Oh, do God. you see this? Do you see the streamline end at, end at the bottom? Look at that. That's where its fin Look at would that. normally be positioned. Isn't it beautiful? That's oh. where its fin would normally be positioned. And that, that allows it to be streamlined and when it gets stiff like this, shoot into the mud. And no. when it's in the mud, oh god, it's so difficult to find because no. when you're feeling around on there, you think you may have a little stick. Let's no. get a little water right when now. When releasing a bass is almost as difficult as catching one, we have to be very careful when releasing be gentle. Them. If you're not gentle with releasing the bass, the hydrostatic skeletons can burst and they can die. So you've got to be very careful as you release them back down into the depths. Very careful now, Max. All right, all right. It's still stiff like a, rig a rigid stick. All right, it's back down in the mud. Back down in the mud where they need to be. This was a great experience, Northeast Asia. Historical moment. Historical. The mosquitoes are very bad here in Northeast Asia. 
Just like Spencer, my partner, warned me. Those Northeast Asian wood bass, they like to bite fingers when you're grabbing them. Got a little nick here. Right when I was releasing it back into the water, I was putting it back into the mud gently. And it snapped back at me and bit me. It's alright though. I'm alright.